Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tank here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue when you're using your Microsoft Office product and you're getting an error that says this modification is not allowed because the section is locked. So this can occur across many different versions of the Office suite and we're going to just kind of jump into how to hopefully resolve it. So one thing I do want to put out right first and foremost, if you're not running an activated or legitimate version of the Microsoft Office suite, as in you did not pay for it, this tutorial is not going to resolve your problem. Um, however, if you have legitimately purchased or activated your copy of Microsoft Office, this tutorial will hopefully be able to resolve your issue. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to go ahead and start by opening up a web browser. I'm going to have a link to a Microsoft Fixit utility in the description of the video. I want you guys to just copy it out of my description and then go up and paste it into a web browser. So once it's downloaded onto your computer, I'm actually going to show it in the folder here. And if you're on Windows 10, you're not going to be able to run it directly, so I'm just going to close out of all this stuff here. And then for this Fixit utility, I've just dragged it over to the desktop. You're going to right click on it and then left click on properties. Let's go on the compatibility tab and underneath compatibility mode you want to check mark where it says run the program in compatibility mode for and then inside the drop down here just select previous version of Windows and left click on apply and OK. Once you've done that double click on the file make sure it's publisher set to Microsoft Corporation and then left click on run. You want to agree to the end user license terms once you've looked through them and then left click on next. Please keep in mind if you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 you didn't actually have to do that compatibility thing, you could just run the file normally. However, since we're on Windows 10, the fix the utilities just generally will not work immediately. So this is just a simple little workaround for you guys. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. So it should say it's in process once it's done, left click on close. And then I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully it has resolved the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.